Yo, what is going on YouTube? I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Today I'm bringing you a video for changes that I think the support role needs. Before I get into it though, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I know a lot of you are watching are still not subscribed and that would help a lot. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, video, leave a like. First off, Kubakarna. I think this character is just basically taking up a guardian slot, in my opinion. I, I don't even know anyone that really even mains Kumba, so I don't know like all this hesitancy with like maybe I know Hires doesn't really like reworking things, but I really, really just do not like the state that Kumba's in right now. He just does not feel rewarding to play like other gods. You hit the flying mini not back, and it's like, oh, nice. 20 extra damage, 10% magical power. Huge. You made an actual sick an actual sick play, and it's it's kinda kinda useless. I think his passive is the worst part. It's the worst part about him. This thing does not even need a cooldown. They could keep this as no cooldown, and I actually think it, it might help him a little bit. But if it has a three minute cooldown or no sorry four minute cooldown it makes him like near useless like this is only happening a couple times a game or maybe even buff it so it's not 25 percent health maybe 40 50 even if it's 240 if he's making it back alive either way i think his passive is pretty terrible i think his escape is one of the worst in the game it's like a an aggressive escape along with like kind of an engage-esque thing kind of uh his groggy strike the perfect thing that i think the groggy strike should do is you should be able to cancel it early and the root duration should decrease. So at the bare minimum, you get a one second decrease or root if you just cancel it right away. Maybe cut the damage in half also. So it's like 45 and then 155. Just so you can get like this ability out because it gets canceled a lot. I think that'd actually help him a lot. You'll probably have to bring the cooldown a bit down too. Maybe bring it to 12. I think his Yan is fine. I definitely think it's an underwhelming ability, but I think it's fine. Uh, I think his ult is also fine, but I, I think they could actually add back a little bit of damage here because this... 175 plus 560, I don't think you're really, you're really ever getting late game. So you're basically sitting at like, I don't know, maybe 380, 125 for most of the game. Because this is level 17 when you're finally putting points into this. I think this is something that they could also look at. But either buff him like across the board. Maybe even reduce his CC if you need to. But like, this character needs nearly a full-blown rework or just buffs everywhere. Like, maybe changes everywhere. Buff one ability, nerf another one. Just find a spot for Kumba because right now he is just kind of terrible. Next up, number two is going to be War Flag. War Flag, as it is right now, is probably in the healthiest spot it's been in for War Flag as an item. The problem, though, is this item is just something where you can avoid getting punished by it. If you don't get a kill in the early game, this item is... Basically, like having any of these other non-support items. You need to play around waves, and then you need to auto or damage or throw abilities out at people that are around you after you clear a wave, which is near useless. This is basically a 2v2 item, and that is it. As soon as you're out of the 2v2, it's dead. And then these are also terrible, so it's not even like, oh, maybe if you get to late game again, you have a lot of value. No. More just not good items. What I was thinking that they could do is add some gold per five to gold... Gold per five, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can. Gold per five to these items, or maybe even something to his base. Some gold per five to this, maybe like one gold per five. Something like that to make it so there's some actual upside to getting this item and you're not completely punished and put out of the game for buying this. Anything that gives Warflag a little gold regen, because right now they even added this... Uh, wait, that's the wrong one. They added and gained 10 gold for every auto. But the thing is, if you just give up pressure and back up when they get two, three stacks... They're getting zero gold and you're getting right here. You're getting seven gold per minion. And this one, you're getting 50 gold for your stacks on benevolence. Benevolence is hard to describe in like just a quick way, but it's just way easier to get gold with the other two items. And it's way less punishing. This item is way too punishing. And I think they should look into that. Number three, kind of in the same row as War Flag is a, sp a support specific item. I think they should give supports more specific items. As it is, the real only support specific item is Gauntlet of Thieves. It is for sure the only items you'll see supports building. There's items in solo that are solo specific, so items that are in mid that are mid specific, ADC, jungle, and there's no support items outside of Thebes. Binding gets buffed, abused by solos, abused by jungles, mostly cab. You've probably seen them in your games just dominating. Pridwin, kind of a support item, kind of a solo item, basically built all the time by solo laners. I think it's gotten buffed, or I mean nerfed a little bit too much, and it's kind of at a point where it's a bit weaker. So you're not seeing it built as much, but it's still in a very good spot. But I would just like to see more specific support items. Maybe you do something... Like, Renewal is almost there at a point where it, it can feel good. But it's just still a little too expensive. 2,400 gold for support item is just too much. If this was 2,200 gold, maybe you could actually look into buying it. Like, re Regrowth isn't much of a support item. Guy is basically a solo item. I think they should do something 
with one of these items to make it more support specific and i think it would be renewal but i i really think they should just look to making more support specific items number four just a personal gripe of mine it was something that i did not like that they changed cerberus 2 what was it seven patches ago or something like that they nerfed the protection reduction on his two in the middle and they nearly killed it this character is very very rarely seen nowadays because of that change He's not played in solo. He's not played in support. He can't really jungle. So he's basically dead in the water as a god. And you think with all the healing and stuff that's happening right now, Serbert actually be in a good spot, but his late game is just terrible. His laning phase is now just meh. He loses a lot of matchups he used to win. He's still a god you can somewhat gain because he still does have that proc shred reduction. But if I remember correctly, they nerfed this by like 15 or something like that Where at the top end. It, they, they basically killed this god. What I'd like them to do is just revert that. And if they feel like they still have to, maybe just nerf his base damage everywhere. Or somewhere, I should say. They could even move this down to instead of 60, since it's 7 times. They could nerf this down a little bit. Maybe nerf, nerf, nerf this down a little bit if they wanted to. But just give him his prot shred back until it's former glory. And then nerf his, his base damage just a little bit. And then number 5. This is a little bit of a pipe dream, but I just think it would be really cool. I think Cthulhu would be really sick as a support god. And I think they should change up a little bit about him and make him into more of a support than a solo laner. Right now, he's mostly just like a dive character in his ult. But if they could do something where it's a, maybe a little less dive, a little less effective when you're diving it with it and make it a little more defensive. If you hit your team, teammates with your two or your one or something, you give them some prots. Anything like that, I think it would be super cool because I think this character is so, so cool and insane. And I think it'd be really fun to play him in support. And I actually don't think he's that bad in support, but uh, he's definitely not great because of how bad his early game is. Uh, you also can't really get your damage mitigation up in, in duo lane. It's mostly a solo lane thing because you're trading so much and it's melee. But I think Cthulhu would be really sick as a support. But yeah, that's my number five. Uh, those are the five changes I think that would really help support this year. I think support has actually been feeling really fresh uh, with the relic changes and everything. So I, I've been enjoying support. But there's a, a couple things that I think um, that need to be changed. Um, and I, I think the first four are really big and this fifth one is more of just like a, it'd be fun for me There it is the top five things. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day. See you soon